The Arpis River is the longest river running through Pretoria. It starts from fountains and stretches all the way to Amonskral. The Arpis River was named after the monkeys that used to inhabit the white stinkwood trees. This river used to attract tourists from all over the country. This river was once the pride and the heritage of the people in Pretoria. While taken care of, this river brought a joy and a livinghood to the people around it. Until most recent years, where the river is now a catalyst of diseases, the destruction of the ecosystem and criminal activity. In 2011, the Department of Water Affairs declared the Arpies River, north of Pretoria, a disaster area. After numerous attempts trying to contact the Department of Water Affairs, we finally got a hold of Justice Maluleke, Assistant Director of Water Quality, north of Pretoria. Uh, there are two types of sanitation spills that we're dealing with. And the one that you have seen yourself is from a source, which is a sewage work. There are sewer spillages that happens probably just somewhere in town. Maybe a main, main hole is overflowing or a pipe is broken and the likes. In that case, the municipality is responsible for water services provision, including sewer collection and treatment and the likes. So we inform the municipality to go and fix the damaged pipes, the open main holes and the likes. We went to Royval to find out how the local farmers are being affected by the river. Well, the distorting of the Rioli and Rivier had us very affected last year. Many of the oosters were under gemiddeld. We had a big problem with vuil sieve and vuil pompen. We could not be sprayed as we could. And on the end of the day, it had us scared by that one. The farmers of Royval have lost over 900 million rand due to the river and are claiming it back from the municipality of Tony. Here are specific photos in the river where it was just like one day to begin to sky with. So it's as if there was something in the water and it was just a specific day. As a result of all the besoedelings in the water, it was a need for people to come back to the work of the workers to keep the seven good on the pumps so that we can do it. One of the seven that is set up is constantly stopped, as you can see. It was only a half hour long and then it was immediately stopped. Here you can see a clear overstock within one of the regulators of the pulpit. So it was like this, the pump went through the pump. And here is the overstock of the pump. And here is the overstock of the pump. And then here is the unverklaarbare ziekte on the aardappels, which we don't know until today, where it is not. And it has to be as a result of the water. The reason we are retaining water into the river is because that water can be reused somehow. Uh, and when you look at mostly our urban rivers, most of them there's a, some kind of either industrial effluent or sewage effluent that end up being in the river. In cases where everything is normal, normal meaning discharging from sewage work, discharging from industries, uh, it's within acceptable limits, limits that we have said as water affairs. Uh, there are no problems with the farmers to reuse that water. Um, it's been declared by water affairs uh, last year, uh, towards the end of last year, that this water is unsafe for human consumption, it's unsafe for animal consumption, it's uns unsafe for agricultural use. So basically in terms of the use of this water, it's, it's, it's useless for farming purposes at the moment. We, we're farming with Arab horses which are used for, for, for endurance races and we've lost in the last three years, we've lost eight horses. Tegen die tijd laat hulle nou op een punt uitkom dat het begrijp maak is daar soveel goed stikkend. As hulle nou moet gaan budget, dan is het daar duizende of miljoene rand. En dit is waar die probleem toe nou inkom. Dan is dat nie geld nie, dan is dat nie geld nie. En so neek het aan en aan. En tot het nou hierdie ding eindelijk nou maar gebars het toe die riool visies uit in die rivier in beland het. Soos wat hier lyk, soos die riool wat hier le, is precies wat uit die damme uit recht het in die rivier beland het. Het kan 20, 25 jaar vat om dalk van die goed gaan recht stel. En aan die kant ons moet boer en ons moet lewe maak. Farmers have lost contracts with food corporations due to the deteriorating quality 
of their crops. In die verlede het ek geplant uh, groentes en soeke goed soos, soos aardappels en sweetcorn vir maatskapie soos Mekijns en Nature's Choice. En na die geval met die roel en die rivier het hulle geweier saam om weer vir my en die andere boere langs die rivier wat wel die selle goed ook plant contracte te gee. We trace back where the RPs is being used for human consumption and it is clear how the people of Hamanskral have been affected. Sometimes we, we sleep without the food. Sometimes like yesterday. You know, yeah. We didn't eat yesterday because of our water. The water is very dirty. But uh, I didn't go to the to the uh, water to tell the those people uh, about my complaint about the dirty water. It must be noted that the Department of Water Affairs has been making efforts in the restoration of the river. We can only hope that our heritage can be redeemed in its former flourishing state for generations to come.